In one of the modules of the master class, I teach you to teach your kids the do-over. And it's important that you actually teach that to your kids so that when they make a mistake, when they don't do things the right way, when they respond in an inappropriate fashion, it gives you the tool so that they can do it again and it helps preserve and protect everybody's dignity. Now, somebody going through the master class commented that they can see a lot of pushback and that it basically, in a nutshell, it's not gonna be fun. And this is what I wanted to share. Number one, apologize to your kids for learning this lesson now and not when they were two. And that you are learning this lesson as much as they are learning this lesson. But you're gonna be expecting them to actually do things over. And then I'm gonna challenge you even further. When you fail, because you will, because I do, when you fail, say the words, ah, do over, and then you do that again. So instead of, and I'm just gonna make stuff up, instead of screaming, I said clean up your room, when you do that, whatever, you back up and you take a deep breath, do over. I noticed that you didn't clean your room the first time that you were asked. I'm expecting it, you to do it now. And because you didn't do it the first time, there will be a consequence. And then walk away. <laughs> do over. The challenge is, is that if your kids are older, it's not fun. But it never will be easier than it is today. It gets harder and harder and harder as the kids get older. How do I know this? I learned about the do-over when my most defiant son was 12 or 13. <laughs> this is before I understood the gauntlet. This is before I found Captain America. This is before I understood that he wasn't broken. He was just transitioning it from boy to man. So a lot of things I learned with this oldest child. And when I implemented the do-over, I got a lot of pushback. The counsel that I got was to concentrate on the youngest kids with the do-over because they were going to do it cheerfully. They were going to be really responsive and to work, never give up on the older kids, but to recognize that they have a longer time with you of having done it wrong, having not said it once and meant it, right? We were broken records. If I have to tell you one more time, I've already told you 10 times. I thought we talked about this 7,000 times. Like if they've lived with you like that for eight, 10, 15 years, then it's gonna take longer than a minute for them to realize and believe you that things are gonna be different. So change yourself, focus on the younger kids and apologize to the older kids and hold each other accountable for this new standard of we say it once, we do it right. We don't know how to do something. We learn how to do it right together. We practice for a few days and then we do it right together, right? It's a it's a change of mindset. It's This is why the masterclass is dripped out over six weeks. Honestly, to apply everything that you're gonna learn in Homeschooling Olympians, if, if you're close, it still takes six or eight weeks. If you're like me, where you would have been far, far away from the standards of excellence, excuse me, <coughs> then it's gonna take months. It might even take a full year, but it is months and a year of your life that is worth the investment for what I can tell you is on the other side. It is worth it. Your sanity is worth it. Your kids' peace is worth it. And the peace in your home is worth it. So don't, don't, don't quit.